Stefan speaking specifically about the Philippines uh, need. Uh, the Philippines Navy has no submarine force currently. How will you address uh, this uh, major uh, challenge? Yes, it's a very interesting question. So, uh, first of all, I want to uh, to stress a little bit that it is not only acquiring submarines with the, with the Philippines, for example. You need to build a new capacity, and that capacity has to be credible. That's the first point. And then, uh, when you need uh, to create this uh, such a capacity, uh, usually we are talking about uh, three main pillars. First, uh, the submarine. Second, uh, manpower. And third, support system. If I'm coming back on the first one, the submarine the, the equipment, um, you need a very credible a submarine very well adapted to your mission so you need an operational concept first and uh, you need a submarine which is uh, acoustic superior uh, right now uh, with uh, enough firepower and uh, assets to conduct your operation for example special operation forces uh, asset or uh, intelligence gathering and then you need also a robust submarine uh, to have your submarine at sea. Alongside, it's not a real capacity. Uh, the second point is manpower. And it's one of the most difficult uh, pillar uh, to build. Uh, you need well-trained and qualified crews, including commanding officers. Uh, and um, to train such people, you need, of course, a training system with including simulators, experiences at sea, and um, you need a certain uh, or a range of, uh, of training system and uh, uh, knowledge also. And uh, the, first, uh, the third pillar is uh, the support system. You need uh, logistic support, specific infrastructures, um, supply chain, uh, base, uh, security, uh, and uh, also headquarters for the command and control of submarine. These three pillars uh, seems to be a little bit complex uh, to, to get uh, if you have no experience in the field of submarine. But when you are, uh, when you rely, when you are able to rely on uh, partners who have the experience of operating submarines, of building infrastructures and uh, managing logistic support, everything is much more easier, simpler. And France, including the French Navy, DGA, DCI, and Naval Group, have this experience, uh, expertise, and knows uh, to build such a capacity and to help other Navy to get these capacities. The example of the Malaysian Navy uh, a few years ago is a good example of uh, what France is able to do uh, with all partners in, in, in France. I just want to highlight something uh, about um, why a submarine force for the Philippines. It's, uh, it, it may be a very important point. Um, the Philippine Navy is, is a beautiful Navy right now. And uh, compared to the challenge we have to face in the West Philippine Sea, in the Pacific uh, Ocean, in, in that part of the world, um, they need to increase uh, their power. So uh, they need maybe surface vessel, but they need also uh, submarines to be able to, to understand what is happening under the water. They are also able with submarines to face uh, high level of threats uh, coming with very powerful assets from everywhere. Uh, and uh, submarines will be also the way to pull uh, the Navy to the top.